is up everyone out there? Welcome back to the Phantom Spirit YouTube channel. Merry Christmas to you all out there. Hope you have a safe and happy time for the holiday season. But anyways, this review, uh, this week, is on Christmas with the Cranks, released in 2004, starring Dan Aykroyd, Tim Allen, Jamie Lee Curtis, and other people that I'm not completely sure on who they are. And just a little bit of housekeeping, uh, I will have one more review before I come out with my five years of YouTube video for this channel, Phantoms Fanatics, which has evolved since it was the Spectre Gamer and stuff like that. But anyways, let's get to talking about Christmas with the Cranks. Yeah, this movie's awful. It's really bad. Of course, I'll get into it. So, the whole premise of this film, to me, is just stupid. Because we have Tim Allen and his wife, played by Jamie Lee Curtis, and they simply just want to skip Christmas because their daughter is left and they wanted to go on a cruise. And to save money, they just, you know, they go on a cruise together and... The entire town has this cult-like obsession with fucking Christmas to the point where people are constantly being like, Give us your frosty decoration! And I get that's kind of the point of the ridiculousness, but since it's such a stupid and ridiculous premise, I can't get invested. And the perform These are good actors. Dan Aykroyd can be a very funny guy. Tim Allen, not as much, you know, but, you know... He, he's good in stuff like Toy Story, where he can be genuinely funny at the same time. And Jamie Lee Curtis, you know, in Halloween, in the new Halloween movies, she's proven herself as, she's proven herself as both a very good dramatic actress and a very good comedic actress in some performances. But I feel like just because this movie is just so full of, like, shitty characters, like... Everybody is judging each other for little things like the literal impotence of this movie is that these people just want to do their own thing for Christmas But everybody's just like no, what the fuck do you mean Christmas? No one has to everybody has to enjoy Christmas. You can't and it's just like God it's and I get it some of it is like oh, you're being selfish You're not buying stuff from these people who need it and I'm like they still gave their donations. Sometimes they can, they even discuss they gave away some of their donations and just because they're not doing all Christmassy type stuff. I just feel like it's so dumb that these this this town is literally making newspaper articles over these people not wanting to celebrate Christmas and go on a cruise. Like who the fuck cares what they do? Just let a person do what they want to do. I don't know, it's just... And then, like, you have Dan Aykroyd, which, he's a funny guy, but in this, he's just, yet again, a person who is obsessed with Christmas and, like, the HOA. He's an HOA-type person, which, you know, it can be funny in some moments, his performance, but at the same time, I just didn't find it entertaining. And the jokes are just dumb. It's, like, early 2000s jokes, so there's, like, tanning humor and... All of the the humor is just kind of mean spirited, which I like mean spirited humor sometimes, but not in this direction. And all these characters are just awful because, like, the dad offensively comments on his daughter's girlfriend. But Tim Allen does that, and like nobody can just respect other people's wishes. And it just makes me so upset that this movie's plot is just so bad. And, like, I can't even get entertainment out of it. It's just bad for bad sakes. And just because we're following these shitty people with this, like, awful... This awful, not good direction or writing, I just can't enjoy it. And even, like, some of the shots, I... They're just, it's just blandly shot, and there's like only a couple of times which made me joke when they were really dark humorous parts, and I was like, okay, that's funny, but you gotta d decide on your humor whether you're gonna be family friendly, because at the end there's this like big emotional moment where he learns his lesson, and I'm like, he didn't do that many wrong things from my point of view. He, he was just 
He was saying, I am respecting that you guys want to celebrate Christmas. Me and my wife this year aren't. And we're still going to be giving donations, but we just want to go on a cruise. And it's like, why the hell does this town have a cult-like obsession with Christmas and stuff like that? I don't... <laughs> I don't see it. And still, these people are just awful. Like, Tim Allen's not a good person in this, but at the same time, I'm like, why the hell does it matter if he doesn't want to celebrate Christmas? Sure, yes, he could be doing some nicer things here and there. To be honest, yes, I kind of see the dickish per persona and how he plays it sometimes. But it just all, I feel like, just doesn't cooperate. And that's just my biggest problem with this film, is that it doesn't feel tangible. Like, a comedy has to set its rules for its world, and I think it just doesn't in this. I think it's... I do not recommend this. This is a Christmas movie not worth, worth watching. You can't even get an ironic joy over this. I'm so pissed that I watched this. God. Anyways. Hope you all enjoyed... Like and subscribe down below. Have a Merry Christmas to you all. Be safe. Spend time with your family. Don't watch this shitty ass movie. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time for a really big movie that's coming out. Make sure to like and subscribe down below. Comment what you thought about the review. Your opinions matter. And comment what other movies you would like me to review. Anyways, see you next time.